wedding is uh, something that is specifically connected to women in Old Norse literature. It is one of those elements that finds expression in both legendary and um, realistic narrative. Uh, female wedders are found in the sagas of Icelanders, but also in literature that describes life in uh, fictional fantasy worlds, um, most notably the Fortnaldarsur and the Eddic poems. Uh, is it a comportment that is totally independent of the generic context, uh, or is wedding played by different rules uh, depending on the literary genre? Um, it's quite genre specific. Uh, there's not very much wetting in the Fortnalda Sewer, um, the legendary sagas. Um, there's a couple of cases, but um, those sagas are actually the ones that are based on the heroic legendary material. So um, the ones that are also th the same narratives that are told in the Eric heroic poetry. Um, and um, other than that, most of the women in the legendary sagas are actually encouraging peace. Um, and so there's some kind of situation where one man feels insulted and um, and he's going to go and attack the other man who's insulted him. And the wo woman is actually advising restraint and moderation and caution. And it ends up actually smoothing things over and they, they you know, patch things up. Um, and you do have some of those kinds of uh, literary women in the sagas of Icelanders, but they usually haven't been noticed as much because they're not as striking and exciting as the as women like Hallgerðir and Hildegunnur. Um, but certainly the the legendary material that you know, I mean the it's it's material that's based on stories that are so old that you know it's it's really difficult to trace exactly when they might have started, but uh, you know the the migration period, maybe fifth, sixth centuries. Mm. Um, the the events on which they are based might have taken place, and then they obviously go through so many generations and filters and everything. Um, but but there is certainly a consistent Germanic image of a woman who um, who goads and wets and eggs um, and wants revenge for a slight either on her own honor or her her family's honor or you know her, her husband's been murdered so she wants revenge um, and it's really interesting that the the poems seem to f sort of have a consistent idea of what this consists of so women usually had their hair tied up in some some way um, but in this scene they would um, take their hair down and it would be hanging loose and it sort of symbolizes some kind of loss of control maybe and, and emotion um, and they sometimes have props um, so in uh, when it gets to this sort of scene gets down to Neil Saga you you find the um, the cloak with all the blood and there are recurring elements of the speech that they um, they utter so the there's usually some sort of accusation of unmanliness. Um, sometimes the woman threatens that she will take up the man's role mm -hmm. um, and and reminding him of his, his sort of um, duty to his kin. And then I think in in Njalsaga, this scene with Hildegunna, she actually also evokes Christ. Yeah. Um, so she's sort of evoking a higher power. Yeah. And, you know, he's not only supposed to do this for his own kin,